get it. I don't get it. Okay. Why is my hair so blonde? <laughs> Not that I'm like, oh my god, make this so short. <laughs> so, you know this is going in the outtakes, right? Okay. <laughs> Can you see her? Now you see me. <laughs> now you do. <laughs> All right, so today's <laughs> Woman Crush Wednesday um, is Faith Hubby of Emerald Studios Photography and then Philo Cali Lingerie. Yes. Have we merged the names? Because I know you were thinking about doing something like that. We have not merged the names okay. yet. Okay. Are you still thinking about that? Still thinking about it. Okay. All right. So Faith has been in business, at least for the photography side, for as long as I've been here. And I've been here almost six years. Yeah. But it's been longer than that. It's been like 12. 12 years. Wow. Yeah. And Faith is only 24. Right. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. So weird. She's been grinding forever. Young. <laughs> yeah. It's very young. We'll say 30s, okay? I don't know if you want to say how old you oh, are. Okay. So how old are you? 35. Yay. We're twins. Look at that. Um, okay. So, As you can see, mm -hmm. we're twins. Exactly. <laughs> Did anybody have... We're not? Okay. No questions. So... As I told you um, just a few minutes ago, and we've been talking when I asked uh, you to be part of my w Women Crush Wednesday videos, um, I wanna inspire women, because I know that everybody has this dream, right? Whether it, to, it is to be, you know, the best baker and have your, your baking studio or whatever, um, or it's to have the cleanest house. <laughs> that could be a dream too, you know what I mean? That is my dream. Um, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I want people to just understand that you just have to start. You know what I mean? You take the first step and then hopefully your left or right foot will follow and you keep going. Um, and I know that that is something you did. You just started, right? Mm -hmm. So how did you get into the photography business? Because you weren't a photographer when you came out at right. seven. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working actually a nine to five job at the hospital, just in an admitting department. And mm -hmm. I had a really good job, mm -hmm. um, but it was literally sucking my soul. <laughs> and I had a toddler, I'm married and had yeah. a toddler at the yeah. time. And when I had my second son, um, I had kind of started dabbling in photography mm -hmm. and um, when I had my second son I started staying home and so okay. I just I was staying home and I was doing daycare actually I did daycare up out until, of your house out of my house okay. up uh -huh. until okay so thank phone rang so now we'll go back to the story <laughs> Sorry. okay no it's okay so <laughs> back to the story <laughs> you were doing the um daycare out of your house mm -hmm. with your two kids yep yes with my infant yes. and my toddler yes. and um quickly realized i'm not very good at daycare although i love children yeah. but um it just was just not, not my thing yeah. at all and so um did that for many years though and then started my photography business as mm -hmm. i was doing that and um one summer I just decided to kind of put it out there like I was doing friends and family I guess yeah. a lot of how a lot of photographers get started especially when they have children yeah and then I put it out there I think I put it out on Craigslist or something oh wow <laughs> like that's now you can just, was this before Facebook <laughs> before Facebook yeah and yeah. so but I do like that you just started yeah I just started mm -hmm. and I was like I'll just see what happens and yeah. my husband's like well, let's just see what happens and so Ooh, supportive husband you I hear that, that. get yes. a supportive husband <laughs> if you want to be married get supporting hu supporting husband that's the key yeah. so I just yeah put it out there and I was booked solid all summer and then I was wow. like, oh I gotta do work <laughs> if so, you want to keep it as a business, I want to keep it. So I, I learned very quickly that I couldn't um, have that many sessions, and kind of balancing family and kids okay. and all of that was a struggle. But yeah. I mean, I did daycare up until like, well, how old's my kid? Seven years God, ago. Like I was going to say, like, is eighteen now? Seven, <laughs> it was seven. so grown. <laughs> <laughs> seven or eight years ago. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. That's when I stopped doing daycare when my kids. Yeah. Um, or when my daycare, my one daycare kid went to um, preschool. Yeah. So, so was photography, um, because you said when you were working at the hospital, it was like sucking the soul and then the daycare wasn't really your thing. Did you know that photography was something you always liked or was it one day it clicked in your mind like, I really do like taking pictures? Well, 
I think like I always if in retrospect like mm-hmm. I always tell people to go back to their childhood and what you did as a child yeah, is yeah. probably to some extent what you should be doing yeah. in your life and yeah. so as a child I was always doing art things okay. and creative yeah. and stuff like that and I was I always had a camera yeah. and so um, and I was always taking pictures of my friends yeah. and making them dress up yeah. and pose yeah. and all this stuff so mine was always talking and I would get <laughs> Shocker. in trouble a lot so <laughs> here we are okay so um, yeah, yeah so I think like when I think about it like I really deep down that yeah. was something that was deep rooted but yeah. it wasn't like oh I'm gonna do photography yeah. as a career it just kind of happened naturally mm-hmm. and um, you know, it was work, but it was just kind of like constantly getting better and yeah. seeing something that I had a weakness in and not letting it stop me and just mm-hmm. finding a way to do it. To so, do it. Okay. a lot of YouTube videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank God for YouTube, right? And information is out there, you know, mm-hmm. as we talked about off camera, is, you know, people get scared because they don't know how to start or what to do. But there's so much research that you can do and you just have to do it. And that's what these videos are for. Hopefully this is helping you in your inspiration and some of the research to see somebody like Faith who was like, I want to be a photographer. Hey, auntie, can I take your picture? (laughs) And, you know, she just uh, started. And I was going to ask you, you know, what what were one of the hardships? Was that learning like, oh, I have to make this an actual business. I can't do all these sessions at once. Yeah, I think the biggest struggle for me was balancing, which I hate the word balance, like balance is a myth, <laughs> right? that's a whole nother video, um, but yeah, just balancing the, you know, having a business, not really knowing what I'm doing, like yeah. flying by the seat of my pants basically, yeah. but also having um, kids and yeah. little kids and wanting to be, you know, wanting to be there for them, and so I just kind of designed my business around them, yeah. and it works because you know? guess what? You own it. <laughs> yeah, so I can, I can do whatever I want. Boss, so you I can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, I see that this is um, kind of a common thread in all the women that I'm talking to. Um, is they say, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just kept going. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. I think people think that they have to have, okay, from A, then I go to B, and then I go to C, and then D, or whatever. But it's like, no, once you do A and you start, Mm -hmm. then that'll lead you to B. And you'll go, oh, now I got to do this. Okay. It's like you you learn in the doing of things. And so I love that. And so after you started the photography business, you said about seven years ago, when did you get this beautiful space? So I've been in this space for six years. Wow! And um, I've always had a studio. I never did it out of my home. Just I just didn't ever envision it being that. Okay. Um, but I yeah I got a studio and just kind of made it work. You know yeah. I really wasn't ready for a studio. Yeah. yeah. But I just found a way to make it make it work. Mm-hmm. And you know from there it just kind of snowballed. But. You know, I think for me, having people that came alongside me, I mean, I had awesome mentors and just kind of got put the right people in the right places at the Mm -hmm. right times and I was, that helped me along. And so even when I didn't believe in myself, I had people that were believing in me for me. So So. you weren't afraid to ask questions and ask Mm -hmm. for help. Like, how did you do this? Or can you help? See, I think that's another good Mm -hmm. lesson is you can't be afraid to ask for help. I think Mm -hmm. that's a human thing that we're always like, I can't really call Faith and say, I need help in this. When you really do, if you want to be successful. So now we have the lingerie line out of the um, studio here which is a very beautiful line. You started this maybe, what, has it been two years now? Uh-huh. Two years ago. Mm-hmm. And why did you want to bring the lingerie into the photography, into your photography world? So I specialize in boudoir and women's portraits. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times women were asking me where to purchase things mm-hmm. and I couldn't in good conscience send them to a big store and yeah. knowing that they're not going to get the personal service and not going to, that they're going to get discouraged with their bodies mm-hmm. and that was, kind of counterintuitive to what I was doing. Right. And so it was kind of a see a need, fill a need situation where I was like, oh, people need lingerie. And I put it off for a really long time because I was like, can I handle two businesses? Yeah. You know, I didn't, I never want to do anything um, half-ass. You should always put your full ass into everything. Right. (laughs) The full round (laughs) moon. The whole round thing should be in it. So I, I, I made sure that I was had thought through a lot of things yeah, um, and really thinking about what kind of stuff we wanted to carry and that sort of thing. And then, um, yeah, so I thought about it for a good two years before I actually did it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not bad to have a plan. It's just, you know, at some point you have to rip the bandaid off and And just execute. I literally one month I had, you know, anybody that runs a business, you know, you have so much and this is very rare that you have extra. Yeah. And so I had $200 extra 
and I just felt like it was time. And so I bought 200 bucks worth of lingerie and had some friends over and said, hey, what do you think? And yeah. it sold out. So wow. and then I just bought more and more and more and now it's taking over. Awesome, so. <laughs> awesome. And I've actually been a part of Faith's uh, fashion shows. Mm -hmm. um, we had one a couple months ago. Was it November? I want to say November. And then the year would have been 2017 of November, right? Are we in 2019? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm like my numbers <laughs> exactly. Um, so then, what's what do you see next for you? So maybe like when you're 40, what what do you see? So I mean, I think I I started doing mentoring for other photographers, oh, and I really right. enjoy that. She's um, gonna be a consultant. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like, and and not even just for photographers, just women women in general that yeah. are running a business, you know, men are um, amazing business people too and I get a lot of inspiration from men as well, yeah. but there's something different with women where we have this um, this pull, you mm -hmm. know, this pull towards family and I, I definitely believe family should always be first yeah. and you should always put your kids first, your Trying to first. Ba there's that balance where again, there's, yeah, how you there's do that. that. Yeah. yeah, and how yeah. you do that yeah. and, and do it eff efficiently in a yeah. way that makes you not um, have the guilt. The mom guilt. The mom guilt. I hear that a lot too. Yeah, yeah. and so um, that's really like how I design my business is basically so I don't have mom guilt. <laughs> so she, you can do it around you because you're the boss and yeah. that's the perfect thing. Like, yeah, I mean, have, there, yeah, there's a know? certain amount of like self accountability yeah. that you have to yeah. have. That you you have, have to. Yeah, if you want to be successful for yeah, sure. Exactly. But on those days yeah. that you if know, your kids things sick, happen, you know, you don't exactly. have to worry about it. And exactly. so there is that. I mean, that is what I wanted and that's what and I designed, you. so. I love it. Yeah. So do you have any words for um, maybe, let's say somebody is watching and they have an idea in their mind and it doesn't have to be a photography business. It can be whatever it is because successful and dreams to me um, are personal and it is whatever you wanna do. Like, um, any encouraging words for somebody watching that is like so scared to just start? <laughs> I think my biggest thing is just let your light shine in the way it's supposed to be or that, it's, that you're designed to do. Because mm -hmm. if you're trying to do something that you're not designed to do, it's going to feel hard. Yeah. And you'll know when you get into your groove of the right thing because it's not that it's not going to have challenges, right. but it's not going to feel heavy, mm -hmm. you know, and um just letting that light shine and it doesn't have to like you said it doesn't have to you don't have to have the whole big plan figured out yeah i mean you can map out as much as you can to the best of your knowledge yeah but then be willing to change and you know sometimes that little light it only lights the next step it doesn't yeah. light the big picture and that's for a good reason so that you're able to move when you need to move thank you thank so you. much for joining me on my woman crush wednesday for more on faith of course i'll tag her up here in the video on facebook and it's right here and you can <laughs> click her and if you need um photos done call faith or lingerie or lingerie <laughs> call faith boudoir also you do, do you still do family photos Mostly, mostly women portraits. Mostly women portraits. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. See, she changed. She changed <laughs> yep. too, and that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching.